It was meant to be a decisive blow, a strike that would cripple China's most ambitious tech giant. When Washington severed Huawei's access to advanced semiconductors, the West was confident the company would collapse, its influence erased, and Beijing's hopes of competing in next-gen technology crushed. But instead of falling apart, Huawei has just shocked the world with a leap no one predicted so soon. Against every expectation, the company unveiled a revolutionary 6G chip, years ahead of schedule, while China's premier chipmaker SMIC broke through the 5 nanometer barrier without the very tools the US swore it could never obtain. What was designed to weaken China may have instead accelerated its independence. And if Huawei is already making breakthroughs in 6G, the future of global technology and connectivity could be transformed forever. Because 6G isn't simply an upgrade from 5G, it's a different universe altogether. Imagine speeds a hundred times faster, virtually no delay, and AI-driven networks so intelligent they can reorganize themselves instantly. For years, analysts insisted China wouldn't even compete until well into the 2030s. Yet Huawei has demolished that assumption, presenting a prototype that outpaces anything currently imagined. How did this happen? One word, necessity. The sanctions didn't destroy Huawei, they pushed it to evolve. Billions were poured into in-house research, domestic chip development, and groundbreaking material science. By 2023, Huawei wasn't trailing, it was leading, filing more 6G patents than any rival, controlling more than 20% of the global share. And patents aren't just paperwork, they're the foundation of dominance. For decades, Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung reigned over advanced semiconductor production. The common belief was absolute. Without ASML's extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, barred from export by the United States, China could never cross the 7 nanometer threshold. Yet SMIC, Huawei's critical supplier, achieved the unthinkable. By using deep ultraviolet lithography and sophisticated multi-patterning techniques once dismissed as impractical, it delivered a working 5 nanometer chip. Industry experts were stunned, market analysts taken aback because what was impossible had just become reality. Estimates suggest Huawei and SMIC funneled over $30 billion into research and development to smash this barrier. And now it's clear, this isn't just about hardware, it's about who defines the technological future. For decades, Western telecom companies dictated the architecture of global networks. But Huawei's 6G advances are changing that balance. This is no longer about faster connections, it's about authority. Specialists forecast that 6G will rely on satellites, quantum-level encryption, and AI-run automation, rendering traditional systems obsolete. With more than 20% of patents already in its hands, Huawei is positioned not only to participate, but to dominate, setting the standards that competitors like Nokia, Ericsson, and Qualcomm may be forced to follow. If Huawei establishes both the patents and the infrastructure, then industries from finance to defense to artificial intelligence could shift into Chinese-built ecosystems. The consequences are immense. Research groups warn that Huawei's 6G push could upend Western supremacy in telecommunications, AI, and cloud computing, the very pillars of the digital economy. With US firms like Amazon, Microsoft, and Google commanding today's cloud sector, Washington thought its lead was safe. But if Huawei's 6G enables direct machine-to-machine -machine communication at unimaginable speeds, bypassing bottlenecks entirely, the West's edge could vanish. Analysts caution that if China wins the race to deploy 6G, the concept of digital sovereignty itself will be rewritten, with control tilting east. The US, Japan and South Korea are scrambling to counter with massive investments, but many fear China's head start is already too great. This is no longer just technological, it's geopolitical. Huawei's ascent is a seismic event shaking global power structures. The United States, Europe and Japan are coordinating new restrictions, devising bans and injecting billions into rival projects. Washington has launched a $3 billion fund, Brussels is considering curbs on adoption, and alliances are forming to keep Huawei out. But as the West digs in, China expands abroad. State-backed firms are striking deals across Africa, the Middle East and South America, regions eager for faster and cheaper infrastructure. Where Washington sees a danger, others see an opportunity, and they're welcoming Huawei's technology. If the pattern repeats, as it did with 5G, the globe could fracture into two digital spheres, one powered by Huawei, the other clinging to Western alternatives. But this time the stakes are far greater. 
Because Huawei's 6G is not just about higher speeds, it's about unleashing artificial intelligence at full capacity. With near instant connections, machines will interact in real time, driving revolutions in healthcare, finance, defense, and urban systems. Whoever controls this technology won't just dominate the market, they'll shape the future itself. What began as an attempt to strangle Huawei may have unleashed a transformation instead, accelerating a new technological era. And now China isn't catching up, it's taking the lead. If Huawei secures 6G, the balance of power, connectivity, and intelligence in the 21st century may be permanently rewritten. According to a sweeping new report from McKenzie and Company, the cities of the future are no longer just made of steel and concrete. They will be living digital organisms, powered by the invisible force of 6G. These cities will breathe through continuous streams of data, slashing energy consumption by nearly 40%, and accelerating emergency response times by more than 60%. And at the center of this vision stands Huawei. In Shenzhen, the company is already running pilot projects where AI-driven 6G systems don't just control traffic lights, they choreograph the movement of entire road networks. They don't just manage electricity, they reshape the flow of entire energy grids. They don't just track public health, they map the pulse of millions of lives in real time. Dr. Richard Windsor, once a leading analyst at Nomura, describes this as nothing less than the birth of an interconnected digital organism, a system where transportation, hospitals, and industries merge into a single AI-powered brain. But every promise hides a cost. With such breathtaking control, who truly governs the lifeblood of a city? And can any nation remain sovereign when its heartbeat is managed by a foreign network? For Huawei, the dream of global 6G leadership rests on a brutal challenge, mass-producing the chips that make it possible. Two obstacles rise like mountains, scaling fabrication and securing the supply chain. Yet, against all odds, China's leading chipmaker SMIC has doubled its investments, injecting $7.5 billion into advanced manufacturing in 2024. Denied access to the most advanced EUV lithography machines by US sanctions, SMIC has crafted its own path, mastering multi-patterning techniques that push the boundaries of 5 nanometer chips, without ASML's technology. Analysts at Bernstein Research warn that if Huawei and SMIC can scale this process, China could cut its dependence on foreign chips be a staggering 75% in just five years. But skeptics caution that this leap from prototype to mass production is not a sprint. It is a war against giants like TSMC and Samsung, where every misstep could cost billions and decide who controls the world's most valuable resource, silicon. And so the fault line deepens. Huawei frames 6G as humanity's bridge to a seamless, hyper-connected world. Yet critics argue it may instead construct a new kind of empire, a digital monopoly stretching across continents. Reports from the New York Times reveal that as Huawei's influence spreads through Asia, Africa, and Latin America, nations risk becoming entangled in an ecosystem where hardware, software, and cloud are bound under a single flag. If Huawei's chipsets rise as the global default, Western competitors may find themselves suffocated, ushering in a fractured internet, one half led by Washington, the other ruled from Beijing. Former US cyber official John Costello offers a chilling warning. In a Huawei-dominated world, nations may no longer hold their own data. Their sovereignty, their very autonomy, could be dictated not by governments, but by the provider of the network itself. Huawei, for its part, insists its rollout is about cooperation, innovation, and progress. But beneath the rhetoric lies the oldest struggle of all, power. The United States knows what's at stake, and it isn't waiting to react. It is already moving to block Huawei's advance. A Reuters investigation reveals how the Biden administration has quietly urged NATO allies, Japan, and Australia to preemptively shut Huawei out of their telecom networks before the 6G era even begins. Meanwhile, American giants like Qualcomm and Intel are racing against time, powered by a $1.5 billion research push under the CHIPS Act. Yet Europe stands divided. Germany and the United Kingdom are turning away from Huawei's 5G equipment, but France and Spain are reportedly weighing early 6G trials with the very company Washington fears most. If the West fails to unify, the world could fracture into two rival technological universes, one led by the United States and its allies, the other by China, with everyone else forced to choose a side. Huawei's internal roadmap sets the timeline. 
First commercial trials in 2006. Full-scale deployment between 2028 and 2030. Beijing has already committed more than 40 billion in state-backed funding to accelerate the race, guaranteeing that Chinese cities will be the first to live inside this new 6G reality. Beyond China, Russia, the UAE and Southeast Asia are exploring adoption, a global shift that could tilt the balance of power before the US even launches its first 6G network. This is not simply about faster downloads, sharper AI, or smarter cities. This is about the foundation of power in the 21st century. The nation that dominates 6G will not just control communications, it will control the flow of commerce, the security of nations, and the sovereignty of data itself. If Huawei's vision triumphs, China could hold the keys to the digital infrastructure of half the planet, rewriting thurals of global order with code and signal instead of armies and weapons. The West is scrambling, but the sands of time are slipping fast. The question is no longer whether 6G will change the world. The question is who will rule that world once it has changed? Will 6G emerge as humanity's greatest breakthrough, or as the sharpest geopolitical weapon ever built? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of this global battle for technology and power, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our next video on the race to control the future.